Our appliance panel is ready. Our appliance door is ready. Uh, we're going to mount the panel on the front of the appliance now. We have to do this with the appliance out of the niche. Um, because of how the door goes on, it goes on and then drops down. Uh, if we don't have the headspace, if we were in the niche, we wouldn't be able to get the panel high enough and then drop it down. So you have to put the panels on first. Um, what you want to pay attention to is getting these uh, two adjustment brackets into these two uh, cutouts uh, first. So lift it up and we'll align it with those two holes. I'm in and then you want to slide it up and try to kind of wiggle it into place and if you're engaging the brackets you should be able to hear them kind of clicking back and forth. Check to make sure that you're actually on and which I'm not in this case so you can lift the panel up and that feels better. So the panel is uh, engaged at all six points on the brackets. You can see we have some adjustment left and right. Uh, when we're talking about an eighth of an inch of a gap on either side of the panel, uh, we're not going to need uh, that much of adjustment once we get there. Uh, we also want to be able to adjust the height. Um, so I use my level as a reference and can place it on top of the appliance. And so basically what I'm going to do is uh, adjust the panel up until it's in contact with that level. That way I know when I put the appliance in the niche I'll be able to level and raise the appliance up and give myself that one eighth inch of a gap without actually pushing the top of the appliance up into the cabinet above. <clears throat> so to do that we'll need to insert our adjustment bolts and you may need to squeeze the panel uh, a little bit Compressing that foam, squeeze the panel towards yourself in order to find the threaded hole. And you can just finger tighten it in into place there. And put the second one in. We'll do the same thing, squeeze it a little bit close so I can catch the threads, which I have. And now you can use your four millimeter Allen key as well to tighten it down. So what we're going to do is if we are to thread this down, it's actually going to pull the panel up, which is what we want to do. We want to pull it up so that it's in contact with that level. It's pretty close and we want to do the same thing on the other side as well. That's good, we're just brushing against it. So by using those two bolts, we're able to uh, adjust the height and we can also do a little bit of this with the panel if necessary as well. Now that the panel is adjusted to the height that we want, uh, wanted to point out some of the, uh, the particular, in particular the seam uh, that we would see here or this gap <clears throat> prior to any tightening of the panel against the front of the appliance door. The ideal situation is going to be that we'll be able to adjust or tighten the panel all the way in against the appliance door and not have any need for any kind of gasket. Um, if we were to tighten this panel in now all the way, we would lose the ability to move the panel freely back and forth, left and right. Um, so I just wanted to point out that uh, this will have a bearing or an effect in how deep we put the appliance into the niche when we do it. Um, and we will talk about how to adjust those panels once we've installed it in place.